Fort Madison Substate Showdown with once beaten Williamsburg got off to a bit of an inauspicious start as the Bloodhounds found themselves down 10-2 to early and with Bryson Abbey in foul trouble. But Miles Winsen took matters into his own hands in the remainder of the stanza, scoring 10 points from various places in various ways to cut the first quarter deficit to just 20-17. to and with the Raiders' full defensive attentions now diverted completely to Miles, the Hounds would make the game's second eight minutes their best and most balanced. It started with Camden Chrisman as the point guard gets the attack and suddenly the Bloodhounds had caught fire. How about the backdoor cut right here from Aaron Barnes and Miles Winzine would find him to put Fort Madison to within just one point and then it's David Nagel from the corner knocking down a triple to give the Hounds their first lead of the ball game at 29-27. Camden Chrisman again would contribute late in the frame as Fort Madison would take a 34-29 lead into the break. At a quick opening salvo from the combination of Wensine and Barnes, and the Hounds would run their lead to seven, which was the high water mark for either team in the second half. But back would come Williamsburg taking advantage of turnovers and this Zach Schlebach bucket to run his team's lead back to one. The Hounds would answer yet again, this time Curtis Richardson on the take. And then for the closeout on the quarter, it's David Nagel knocking down the short jumper as Fort Madison would build a 46-42 lead headed into the final stanza. But the Bloodhounds could just not find any lasting separation. For every bucket like this one scored by Miles Wensine, it seemed in the fourth quarter that Williamsburg would answer with two. Josh Coppell from the outside knocking down the jumper, and then it's Schlebaugh again doing work from beyond the three-point arc. And those efforts would eventually knock the game up at 49, 52, and ultimately at 56. But Miles Wensine found a way to force overtime with a couple of clutch shots and a couple of clutch free throws down the stretch. None more so than this jumper with 15 seconds left in regulation to force overtime. In the extra frame, the Hounds took a two-point lead into the final minute, but missed free throw opportunities down the stretch prevented them from growing that lead to any more than two points. And that proved disastrous, as with eight seconds left in the ballgame, it would be Josh Capel playing the hero, burying a dagger from beyond the arc, giving his team a one-point lead, and the Bloodhounds could not answer it at the end of the overtime period as Fort Madison's fine season comes to a heartbreaking end. Reporting from Muscatine, I'm Sports Director Chris Dewar.